Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about lines of code. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I wrote a program that could be written in just a few lines, but and I did it in a lot more lines. And when I looked at the shorter version, I was like, I would never have been able to write it in that way. Is that normal? Well, uh, without seeing the code, it it kind of depends a little bit. It, it, it is absolutely normal. I will just tell you that off the right off the bat. It's nothing weird that someone writes something in a like in a more concise way or a shorter way than what you do. And here is, I mean, here's the problem for me. Without seeing the code, I can't really say whether or not the shorter version is better than the longer version. And this, I think, is something that it this is an interesting thing because this touches on something that I call code intuition. Now, code intuition is basically when I say that uh, depending on what we're doing, how we're doing it, and if we look at the code, we can usually derive the sort of person who wrote this implementation. And this is based on completely based on experience, by the by. Uh, so, a, like a junior developer will almost never be able to do this. But it, when you have worked for a while, you will see a pattern usually in the way that people solve problems. Because, as you know, in software development, there are many ways of solving a problem. But what's interesting is that most solutions, depending on the type of thing we're doing are similar in some way. There are effective ways of doing things and there are ineffective ways of doing things. And when you've been doing the same sorts of things quite a lot, you will very quickly pick up on if the person who wrote the code, do they know how to solve this problem well? Or do like are they confused about how to do it? Like are they like basically are they writing ineffective code or are they simply writing readable code? Because the thing is Let's say that you write something that t takes more, that, that has more code than somebody else. That is not necessarily a good, a good or a bad thing, depending on what we're what we're talking about. Because if the goal for you on an average project is to just deliver a story, and the code that is a little bit longer is actually more readable, more comprehensible, etc., etc., then that's a very good thing. In many cases, of course, it's in many cases it's a very good thing. And just because you wrote it in less code, that doesn't make your code better. An example of what I'm talking about here is that in competitive programming, it is the, the goal of the code that you are writing is usually not to make it readable, because the competition is usually about making your code run as fast as possible and with as little memory or something like that. It, it, it's about a performance metric that you're looking for. And to get that performance metric, it's usually about trying to figure out the most clever or optimal way of doing something. But in order for you to do that, in many cases, you will have to write some pretty arcane stuff. And in many cases, the people who do really well in these competitions, they are mathematicians or academics and so forth. Not necessarily, but I hope that you get what I'm saying. So their focus when they're writing, when they're writing the code is to optimize the living mm out of it. And when that is the goal, and you write a really, because usually depending on, I mean, in, even in that scenario, your code might be longer than in other, like, than other code. It, it really depends. If that is the goal, then yeah, sure, writing a really short program that is super, super performant or super optimized, that's a very good thing. Uh, but it's, I mean, if you put that code into production, well, that's a discussion that uh, quite a lot of people are ha uh, having about premature optimization, etc., etc. So, it might not be the best thing in the world to write that sort of code if you're going to put it into like a regular old system where somebody's going to maintain it. Because if, I mean, if it's just a few lines of code that is super arcane, I mean, you can do that in many lines of code as well, of course. But if the code is uncomprehensible to other people, it really is tricky. 
I, I think so at the very least. It's hard to say which is the right path here. You kind of just have to you, you kind of have to discuss it with your coworkers, and if there's in this, in my opinion, what usually happens, either they're fine with it. And, or they feel like it can be simplified and as long as you don't have any specific performance metric or something like that that you need to abide by then usually the simpler longer version is the way to go so what I want you to take away from this is that there's no way for me to say whether or not if you if you write a solution in more lines of code than somebody else whether or not that's a good or a bad thing but I will tell you that it's very normal if you want to take a stab at like figuring out like how you're doing in comparison to your solution versus other solutions uh, other people's solutions you can try and go on competitive coding sites and so forth and, like solve problems and so forth and see okay this is how you did it this is how other people did it because that's the thing right there are many ways of solving a problem but there's also readable code, very performant code, there's so many factors that play in when we decide whether or not some piece of software is good or bad and that's why I've been telling you many times before that uh, when someone says this is good code it's almost impossible to say what they mean by that because it's very subjective what is good code nobody can really in like there's no objective way of saying that this is good or this is bad because it's ex extremely contextual so what i think that you should focus more on rather than like how how much code you're using to solve the problem is to look at how well have you solved the problem if somebody has made a super implementation that is very arcane and like extremely performant that's great for them that's going to be a re usually a very good thing in a coding competition it's not going to be very good in on the average project and in that scenario it's better to go for readability and like a a decent implementation but if somebody is like waste like really clearly writing code that is very unperformant or very uh, suboptimal or well, then that's a then that's a different sort of problem and you need to figure out are there better ways for you to solve these sorts of problems and the only person who can answer which it is is you you the person who's writing the code or whoever has access to the code and make that judgment call have a great day